Hello darlings, welcome back to season three of Dining Through the Decades. It is so exciting because I'm finally here in my remodeled kitchen doing season three with you all. So thank you for being here. And this season we're going to be diving into the 1930s and today we're making a lemon pie. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I've got my baking dish here and I've got my short crust pastry. I've just let it defrost for about five, 10 minutes. And I'm just gonna let that sink into the baking dish and push it around the edges and then we can make a pretty and decorative design around the edge. And I'm just gonna cut off that excess so it's not overhanging. Now I've just got a fork here and I'm gonna make a little pretty design around the corners because what pie isn't pretty? All right, now that we've decorated our lovely pie, we're going to bake it blind. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in a little bit of baking paper and I'm gonna put rice in here so the pastry doesn't puff up in the oven. just enough to hold it down. So now I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 10 minutes and 180 degrees. All right, for the next step, I'm going to be making the filling. So I've got my pot here and I've got one pint of milk that I'm going to add in and bring this to the boil. Now while the milk is coming to the boil, I've got a dessert spoonful of corn flour in here that I've just put a little bit of milk in and I'm gonna mix that into a smooth paste. And when the milk is boiling, I'm gonna add that in and thicken the mixture. So next up, we're going to be dividing the egg yolks and the egg whites. Unfortunately, these aren't our chicken's eggs. We've had to buy some free range eggs from the shops because our chickens have stopped laying because they're molting at the moment. All right. So I'm just gonna do the old classic flip flop until all the egg white is separated. Oops. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm definitely gonna cut the egg yolk. How I, this was, ah, the worst job possible. Okay. Ah, oh my gosh, what a mess. <laughs> All right, right, right. Oh, wait, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> I just dropped the whole egg in and the yolk is seeping out. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Oh my God. What the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what it is when it comes to baking and as soon as I turn the camera on, everything seems to go wrong. Oh my gosh, what the hell? I 100% have issues. All right, <laughs> so now after that disaster, I think I managed to make it work. I've got all my yolks together and all my whites together. I'm gonna grate the rind off this lemon and then we're gonna add it all together. <laughs> the milk is heating up nicely. Give that a bit of a stir. milk is hot now so I'm gonna add in my corn flour mixture and stir that together all right 
All right, now that I've added that cornflour mixture in, I'm going to stir this and take it off the heat. The timer's just gone off, so I'm going to take out the pastry and put it to the side. All right, so this is done. And I'm going to take out the rice now. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this to the side and keep working on my filling. Now that the zest is grated, I'm going to add that into the milk with my egg yolks and two tablespoons of granulated sugar. So, in it goes. And... We're keeping this on a very low heat and this is already pretty hot. Um, so adding the lemon zest in. And then the yolks as well. And now we want to keep this on a really low heat so that we don't cook it too quickly. So in a nice gentle heat we're going to be stirring this and it smells so good. And once the mixture thickens, we can then add that into the flan case. And it's actually really nice at the moment. It's sprinkling outside. It's so cozy. I can see the chickens in the backyard. <laughs> All right, this is really boring, but I'm just gonna keep stirring this until it thickens. The mixture has finally thickened. I ended up adding another tablespoon of corn flour into it just because it was taking ages. And now I can move on to whipping the egg whites. So I've got my three egg whites here, and then I also have some caster sugar. Okay, I'm recording now. I just did all of that without my audio going. <laughs> without my mic. Um, also, I just made a mistake. I just poured in the sugar into the egg whites. This is me not thinking again and I'm worrying about filming and I've forgotten all about it. Let's see how this goes, otherwise I'm gonna have to redo this again. <sighs> Hopefully it works. I can already tell it's not gonna work. It's way too runny. <laughs> Why am I such a pumpkin? Ugh. Okay, I got really freaked out and thought that I might have had to just redo the whole thing again. But luckily I did a little bit of research and I found that I, if I keep whipping, it should be okay. And it's almost at the point where stiff peaks are forming. So thank goodness. And I'm just gonna pour my filling mixture into my flan here. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, woohoo, it looks good. It looks delightful. And I'm just gonna keep whipping this and then we're just gonna put it on top and then put it in the oven. Yay, I say that's done. Okay. Thank goodness the egg whites and sugar worked even though I added it in at the beginning. They have formed stiff peaks. It's beautiful and glossy. And I'm just gonna put this on top of the pie. Woo! Just flick that everywhere. I am honestly amazed this has worked. <laughs> I was really worried I'd messed up the whole recipe, but it looks pretty good and I'm really excited to try it. 
All right, I'm just gonna put this in a moderate oven and I've got mine set at 180 degrees Celsius and I'm gonna bake that just until the white meringue bit is golden. Cheers. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go out and say hi to the chickens and hopefully by the time I come back, the lemon pie will be ready. The lemon meringue pie has probably been in the oven for around 25 minutes, and I reckon it's just about ready. Ooh, ow, how hot. Oh my goodness, look at the wobble, the wobble. That looks so good. This is like a giant, giant meringue. This is awesome. I'm so excited. I really want to eat it now, but I'm going to let it cool down because it's straight out of the oven. It's super hot. And when it cools down, I'll have a piece and maybe I'll go get James to have a try as well. I couldn't wait any longer. I probably let it cool down for like 10 minutes. I really need to see what it tastes like. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh, heaven. Oh my gosh. Yum. I hope it's not too sloppy because I haven't let it cool. You can see in there that the mixture is still pretty runny. So I'm just gonna let it fully cool down before I then dig in. Okay, we've waited about two hours now. We're ready to try. Unfortunately, the inside, the mixture looks a little bit wet, but hopefully it still tastes really good. Have you had any? No. Doesn't it taste lemony for mm. having no lemon juice? Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> It's stuck all over my fork. Oh, wow, you did a great job on the meringue too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes surprisingly lemony for having no lemon juice in it. And the meringue's really nice and crispy on top. Really good, you've done such a good job. <laughs> yeah. No. Mm. Am I allowed a second slice? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week in the second episode of Dining Through the Decades. Bye! <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I making? <laughs> ASMR? Yay! I 100% have issues.